Hello everyone, in today's video I will show you how to model the absolute tower and um, it's one of the uh, beautiful projects uh, that I saw online it's uh, it's uh, it's in, it's a it's a Canadian project and it's uh, made by uh, Mad Architects, and uh, I'll show you with the f how to model that in uh, Revit and Dynamo, and uh, you know following almost or having almost no information, uh, and I mean having no detailed information about that project. Uh, all I got is uh, some nice picture from uh, this great website, Canadian Architect, and it's got uh, some images for the towers and a plan, and that's what I really wanted. And as you can see, I just used this image here in, in Revit to, you know, get the base uh, or at least know the radius of each uh, ellipse that I have and uh, I also used the uh, Wikipedia that gave me uh, uh, you know each level in this tower and how high it is in uh, sorry it's uh, what's the number of that tower and uh, that level and the rotation angle for it and you can also find the amount of uh, floors which is uh, 56 as you can see and beside each level there is a rotation uh, value sadly this is not an exact uh, uh, it's not a clear rotation so if you notice that it's a from 10 to I think 9 uh, it's a uh, one step from minus 10 to minus 2 then jump 2 to 0 and then now jump 3 up to I can't remember like uh, here 25 and 25 it will jump, jump immediately to 20 to 6 is a 5 meters uh, sorry a 5 degree of rotation and then return to 3 and then stop and then change so that's why I prefer not to create uh, you know one uh, copy of the plan and then rotate the the and uh, copy it vertically in Z and then rotate and then let uh, Dynamo generate the amount but rather instead I just created uh, each level here and I rotated manually to get the exact uh, detail of that uh, tower again uh, from the main website uh, for Mad uh, Architect you can go here and have a look for this uh, really nice images that can show you that basically with the look with a great look at the plan you can see that the tower as a mass is one ellipse and the land and the, the walkway or the balcony around it is uh, you know a bigger ellipse with extra uh, you know extra I think six meter three by three on the longest axis and in the horizontal axis is 1.5 by 1.5 um, again don't have any exact dimensions I'm just use the scale method to get as much as you correct uh, to the whole thing I assume the level height I think uh, to 6 while I was working with uh, Dynamo to get the uh, result and as you can see that there's a slab and there is this uh, very high uh, parapets like two meter and the overall life I assume it uh, I don't know four or six I can't really quite sure and again the inner uh, the inner geometry or the, the tower itself is fully glazed as you can see uh, I tried my best to glaze both the parapet and the tower itself and it went really miserable with my old machine and the laptop that I get is really bad and it's you know shut down after a couple of tries so I just uh, you know uh, I just created as uh, you know uh, as solid as possible and uh, I just created the, the you know the, the tower based on uh, <coughs> I'm sorry based on the uh, the ability that my laptop can gives so that's uh, that's the if you can see even if even when I just do the rotation it's everything really go slow and I need really to zoom in in order to see the, the amount of uh, you know detail that I made and again I just made that all out of uh, a solid generic walls I tried that again to make really a uh, nice glazing with the, the mullions and frames but it's sadly crushed and failed so that's uh, that's how I just uh, you know prefer to model that anywho so 
the 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 thing is when you face this type of or this kind of a project you want to design you have to organize your brain and think it properly what do you need and the steps to create it. and that's why i put it's very simple you know scheme i just i need really need to find the plan and i found one as i saw you in a canadian architects and i download uh, the image and I rescaled and I'll show you that and then I, I, I decided to go and make a level uh, each level I know sorry I didn't need to know what the levels and the rotation for each one of them and I found that as I said in Wikipedia and then you need to rescale the plan correctly to know the dimension and I found an estimation this is again not an accurate hundred percent but it's just as far as I I go with it it's a 42.5 uh, by 30 that's the long axis and that the short axis for the ellipse and then uh, the inner one for the mass and the outer one that I as you see for the balconies is this now you have to go and create each level and its rotation the two sorry each each level by level I mean you know two ellipse uh, uh, one inside the other and to generate the rotation for each one of them now the question are we going to use the old method that i keep explaining which is you use dynamo then you go create conceptual mass and from the conceptual mass you go slice it to create the levels in order to create the project environment um, which is you know what we have we really been, been doing the big mass in this case we have two ellipses, so two big masses the bigger mass we're going to slice horizontally to create this lab and the inner smaller mass uh, which came from the smaller ellipse will create the curved wall that's a method that I posted lots of videos uh, about it, including the Snowflake Tower. And if you want to go and have a look, it's all available as a set of videos to teach you how to do that. And the new thing that I was, you know, a new method that I wanted to go straight from Dynamo to Revit without running through the, the conceptual mass is just to create the two ellipses that I was talking about as a set of lines or outer uh, outer line, uh, sorry, uh, the outlines, the outer one of them is to generate the slabs and straight to create the parapet from them without from dynamo to rivet without getting into the conceptual mass and the inner one is to generate a straight walls instead of a curved geometry that we usually hear in this method we use if you remember uh, a sweep to create uh, or a loft to create the solid and if you look at the pictures, it's not a curved, you know, even if it's go, and if you look at that, out, uh, if you look at the towers from very far away, you feel it's really curvy, but in reality, this is a straight wall, this is not a curve. And uh, uh, again, that's uh, that's the best way actually uh, to avoid to get into the conceptual mass and create the tower, as you can see, uh, in a much accurate way. Anyway, so let's go ahead and, and, and start doing that. I'm just going to close this file and I will keep the, the startup file or my startup file, which is just a basic uh, uh, metric system file. I just change uh, the units into meter instead of millimeters and I inserted the image. So you go insert and then you go the image itself and uh, uh, insert the image. Uh, that we, we, we want. Uh, I'll just go to the desktop and absolute tower and from it uh, resources I think that's the plan just place it here and what I've done here I just you know assume that or draw a line that assuming that this is uh, uh, you know like uh, one meter but I think first I did uh, a rotation yeah I did so what I've done is just I took the uh, a, a detail line and just moving this, you know, let's say here, and then uh, just a rotation. So I'll select this object, place the center of the rotation here, and then I rotated the picture like this to get as close as possible to reality now i move this uh, uh line into you know something as close as possible now i mess it up sorry i have to select the line and then move it so here almost yep copying this 
vertically like this it's a, it's just a rough estimation and as you can see it's the distance from those is 0 0.5 if you need if any crazy number happen for you you can, I, I, can, I can just multiply this the image by two but uh, I'm not going to do that in case if you have different number I'm just going to copy the original one and push it up let's say one meter that's what we want so again I've done that in a couple of videos just a scale so get the scale image keep it as a graphic and I'm gonna just pick that point and then you know the second point and then push my hand here and by that now I get an exact one meter opening for the door it's a, it's not an exact but as close as possible now if I draw a detailed line or a model line or whatever uh, whatever you feel yourself more comfortable with and I just place that anywhere here of course I'm not getting exact the same number that I got last time but roughly if I click on this you get something like this which is a 42 0.4 I bet you will 100% get different number and that's the long axis it's just roughly been placed I need to get rough number to, to create the tower so the 42.4 is the long axis for the inner or let's call it the tower uh, ellipse and that's what I call it here 42.5 uh, that's the long axis and then I repeated the thing here to get you know this this dude here you know so if I select this guy you're gonna get something around 30 to 31.3 I just you know round it down to 30 and then I just create another line uh, as you can see that's a rotation uh, detail line just placed from that to here and I found it it's like a 2.8 so I think it's a 3 on both sides will give me the long axis for the outer ellipse and that you know push me to drive that the long axis is 48.5 and I find uh, around 1.5 meter on the short axis to get this so this is the 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 tower uh, long axis and short axis for the ellipse and this is the long axis and the short axis for the uh, <clears throat> for the external for the external uh, you know ellipse of uh, the, the the tower itself so that's what I wanted uh, that's the first step is to get the exact uh, that's what we've done we found the plan we found that we know the levels and what the rotation of each one of them and how much how many level we have now we really managed to rescale the plan and we knew now the exact levels and dimension and now we need to go ahead and uh, you know start a dynamo to generate uh, uh, our uh, you know floor plan and, and and actually manage to create the levels and rotation for each one of them anyway i will uh, show you that i'll show how to do that in the next video thank you for watching and have a good day bye bye